Hey everybody, it's Jamie from Plum Island Sea Cabin. Uh, the nor'easter storm is over. We had our first nor'easter storm of October. Um, so we're heading out to the beach to see what it's washed out. So the tides were higher than usual. So what that means is all of that good beach loot that's out there, all the deep water stuff gets washed up. And then when the tide recedes, it gets left behind for people like me. So let's get out there and see what we can find. Oh my God, we hit the mother road. Are you seeing this? There is so much stuff that washed up during the storm. Like I'm beside myself, I don't even know where to look first. So it's still really windy at the beach. I'm here with Kim. Hi. And um, as soon as we hit the beach, she found this really cool blue crab down here. We're gonna rescue him and put him back into the ocean. The blue crabs have um, on the back of them, if you can see, they're little paddles that they use to actually swim through the water. of this hermit crab. restaurants or clam chowder that tongue that fleshy part right there is the uh, the piece that you get when you order your meal so this is all the stuff the storm washes up this is why we love bolistas I keep turning my camera on and off just because I think I'm done and I'm not. This is incredibly insane. I'm not looking my prettiest, but I need to give you some scale on this. Look at the size of this lobster claw. It's huge. It's enormous. So I'm soaked and I'm a mess. <laughs> but I'm having the time of my life. Wasted. I saw something really cool. It's like a black Stimsonian whelk. I'm about ankle deep in the water, so I don't know if I'll be able to find it again. Uh, let's see. I don't see it. 
the building. See, I see it. Okay. So it has a hermit crab in it, but it's a very cool black or blue Stimsonis whelk. So this is not a keeper because it has a hermit inhabiting it. But still, nonetheless, very cool find. We will put him back in the water along with all these other hermits. Grab this the Brody. I mean, just to get an idea of these hermit crabs, not only are they everywhere, but they're really large. I mean, that's probably like three inches, that shell. Neptune shell, it's a Massachusetts state shell. I also just saw a, another scallop shell. So one thing about scallops is the bottom parts are usually pure white and the top sides of them are usually dark or colorful or camouflage for when they lay on the ocean floor. So they usually have a completely white underside and a colorful top side so that it can camouflage against predators. This, this one's still alive, so I'm gonna put him back in the ocean. But a seagull will probably make a meal out of him soon. I'm trying to be as informative as possible. Um, there's Kim down there standing in the middle of all the incredible loot. Like this storm could have been a dud or it could have been epic. And like, I really feel like this is an epic day for us here at the beach. Um, but I was gonna say something, I keep getting distracted, but uh, I'm trying to make this video as informative as possible for you. But I think a lot of it, I'm gonna have to record and post because um, I don't think you'll be able to hear a lot of it out here, to be honest with you, with the, the amount of wind. snails I try not to take with me because they're really good homes for other wildlife like the hermit crabs um, and other things use use them to hide in to protect themselves from predators. You can see here how many there are and this is just a small section of the beach. So if you ever go to the beach I mean you can definitely take some souvenirs home but I like to leave as many as possible too because like I said, if, as you can see out here, a lot of hermit crabs use them. Another Stimsonis whelk in really good condition. Weathered the storm really nicely. Looks like a moon snail actually got to him before the storm did. It's a great find. Let's see what else we can find really large fish bones that washed up. Actually really nice with all the different colors and you can see all the how it weathered as the ocean tumbled it. So it's part of a fish vertebrae. They're actually um, these are really large too. Like that's the theme for today. Like everything here I've probably seen or found before 
but never of this size. So the theme of today is very large things washing up on the beach. So there's a boo over there and I'm really hoping there's not a foot in it. <laughs> and I'm not gonna chuck it, but uh, that's actually happened here before. A lot of times fishermen go out to sea and accidentally fall overboard and then uh, end up right here back on Plum Island. Oh wow, look at this urchin. I can't believe I missed this before. I feel like I walked right by it. Wow. It's an amazing condition. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I actually have a section of my backpack that's dedicated to um, delicate shells, which is a good pro tip. If you do a lot of beach combing and you find a lot of delicate things, you, you might want to have a section dedicated to that or else they all get smashed up. I would hate to untangle that knot. A lot of lobster pots, a lot of lobster traps washed up in this storm. Buoys, a lot of things, people. It's a lot of good. Looks at moon snails up close and personal. That's what the underside of the foot looks like. Let's see what else we can find. So this storm is definitely not disappointing with the amount of really large shark eyes that are washing up and uh, scallop shells that are still hit. Ow, it's alive and it's closing right on my finger. So I'm going to put this one back in the water too so that it can swim on. There's another sea urchin down there. Cut back and grab that. This is a, a definitely a historical day for me. Um, I did see a sea urchin up here that I was just about to grab, but it could have been washed away. Let's see if we can find it. The problem is there's so much stuff, it's like, who knows where it was. We might just have to move on. Let's get some of the particles on these huge shells. I swear that urchin was right around here. More dark blue blue snails. Oh, there it is. Another sea urchin. These moon snails are ginormous. I mean, this one's gotta be like four inches. So if you do watch my videos and you like a lot of the things I'm finding, I do have an Etsy page where I put some shells up every once in a while from my beach hunts. It's called Plum Island Sea Cabin on Etsy. If you like my beach finds and you would like some for your collection, check it out. So Pam, what did you find? Did you find a lot of good stuff? I found a lot of good stuff. I found some sea urchins. Unfortunately, he's a goner, right? Yeah. Like, he didn't make it. He's definitely expired. But, uh... Um, I guess the storm did him in. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great find, Kim. Thank you. Let's 
still alive, so I'll put him back in the ocean, but he's huge. Another crab, I'll drop this guy, it's a rock crab. Let me flip him over. Actually, it looks like a Jonah crab. Okay, I'm back in the water. Before the seagulls get him. So the tide is actually still going out right now, which means it's gonna reveal even more stuff, even more beach treasure. But um, look, I mean, look at the size of this sea urchin. I've never found stuff like this before. Sea urchin is huge. It's a green sea urchin. And I've probably found ones that have been like the size of a marble before, but never this size. So this is what the nor'easters and the tropical storms are amazing for. I mean, if you ever have the chance to hit the beach after a hurricane, a tropical storm, or a nor'easter, I highly suggest you do it. Be safe, but I highly suggest you do it. And it just keeps going and going and going. So hey everybody, thanks for showing with us today. We got some awesome finds. Awesome finds, let me get mine in there. See those? So, so great. cool. So we're super excited because whenever there's a nor'easter or a tropical storm or a hurricane, you never know if it's going to be like a dud or if it's going to be epic. And this today, definitely epic. epic. Yes. <laughs> it was definitely yeah. epic. Thanks for showing with me, Kim. Yes, thank you. And thanks for showing with us, everyone. So we will be back next time we hit the beach and we'll take you with us. Until next time. See you later. See you later.